In the previous video, we've seen how to create a simple pit design inside Micromine using some of the basic tools that this software offers. But now we are going to jump into a little bit more detailed designs. So let's hide this one for the moment and let's view that topography. Okay. I noticed that this topography is bigger and really bigger than what we want so I'm gonna just take a slice from it to use it for our pit design so because as you can see that the distance here is about 40 uh, 34,000 meters which is way more than what we need so I'm gonna take a small uh, part of that topography from here so I've chosen this place randomly by the way so uh, let's go and create a new string and I'm gonna call this string clipper and click on OK yes replace it and instead of using the polyline tools let's choose this rectangle option here and maybe go to here and create a rectangle mask and click on OK now it's not visible because it is actually uh, below the topography. Let's go and drop that onto the topography by using wrap on wireframe. Choose this one, right click to confirm and choose the topography and right click to confirm. It is going to be dropped on the topography and we are going to use that as a mask to clip it. So let's go to cut the wireframe choose the wireframe that we want to uh, cut right click to confirm and now we are going to choose the cutting polyline let's ch choose this one and right click to confirm okay nice it's done processing now let's pick up one of these so what we want is this one and click on save we are going to save this to the DDM and name it to topography topography 3 and click on OK yes okay let's hide everything let's hide this one and let's hide the clipper and this is our topography as always if you want to change the color to something else you go to uh, here you go to 3D color coding and pick up the Z value and just... Uh, by the way, let me show you another thing really useful. Maybe you want to change the attribute inside of... inside. Uh, I mean, instead of Z value, you change that to maybe the true dip. So you are going to sort of slope uh, map and apply it to this topography to help you maybe stay away from you know uh, the zones where certain dip is really big or you know it's really helpful so just keep that in mind okay so now we are going to create a new pit design pit design and we are going to call this pit uh, 2 and as always we're expanding down and inside I've changed the uh, I've changed the values uh, of the butter height uh, to 10 and for the slope 45 and 5 meters for the berm width calculate that and click on OK OK I'm gonna overwrite that we got our pit file in here let's create uh, let's go and digitize that limit I'm gonna pick this place as our starting point I'm gonna create a pit in here and I'm gonna close close the string drop that it's not visible as always right click and drop that in there maybe you want to change this let's reduce the number of points that so make it a little bit easier to as you can see that we have a lot of points in here let's 
change that reduce the number like this right click and we've reduced the number let's go here and maybe that the rotation is not in the center of the topography let's change that by using the seek tool now that's good okay and as you will notice here if I select the string the string the full one okay now change it okay as you can see we have values that are between 780 and 1010 so if I do a projection in here each one of these points is going to be projected 10 meters with a slope of 30 or of I mean 45 degrees so the resulting string is going to be uh, not straight and that's not actually practical so we are going to see how to solve that issue so there's an option here in MicroMind that allows you to project the whole string into a defined elevation so if our butter height is 10 meter let's pick up the 780 and go down to 770 so go to here and project that to 770 okay select that one and click on here to project it to 770 now we've got this one in here so let's hide the whole thing the topography now and we can work I know that some of you might think that uh, the string this one here uh, I mean the distance in here is actually in some places where we have a thousand and ten it is bigger than our butter height but we're gonna see how to solve that later now let's focus on our pit design and we all sh we are going to showcase how to use these tools okay so uh, we've got the uh, no uh, a tone here because it is green now we are going down we need to go and use the uh, expand that and get the berm so it might not be visible there but there's our berm and now we can go down with the uh, butter height and slope angle okay and we uh, use the butter height again I mean the berm width to expand or what we can do is to use this one which means the we are going to use the butter height the slope and the berm width to project the string so we are gonna go get a full thing see I'm gonna keep expanding and this actually makes things uh, match easier now in some cases you will find yourself with other geological constraints or maybe you are going to follow the block model and change uh, the design so we're not going like straight to the bottom so maybe you are going to create some sort of a platform in here to do so all you have to do is to pick this one in here and maybe let's change that create some sort of a platform in here control C and create a platform and change the location of these maybe we are going to delete some of these points right click on that point and select delete point right click and delete point we don't need all of these points in here delete this one too and delete this one too and move this here okay so and then we continue going down continue going down and down 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 and maybe there's another geotechnical constraints in here that we want to keep you know a long distance in here another platform or maybe there's uh, an ore that is not economic in here to uncover and plenty of things could happen inside a pit design so I'm gonna keep this in here and we are going down again okay and probably 
you know, maybe now this whole place is not economic and we need to uh, leave it. So I'm going here and right click on that, delete that segment, go to the opposite side and delete that segment too. Now we don't need this one thing. Let's click on delete and pick this one in here and right click and click choose close to ring and we are going to expand the whole thing down again create some other constraints in here just showing you how to use these tools to create the kind of thing that you want because you are actually guiding this it's not like we need to do whatever it's telling us to do so as you can see it's getting pretty complicated in here and okay let's go to the top view again and do another platform small one in here and maybe go here delay these points this one too move this one here okay and continue expanding our bit and as always this is not maybe economic anymore let's delete that string from there the string from here I mean the segment delete that one and count it uh, select this one and close it and go down go down few more thing uh, you know times and this non economic I'm deciding this I know a lot of economy here so delete this delete this segment in here and let's create a point so the shortcut for that is I click on I and that's a point in there now we can delete this uh, segment let's select the segment delete the segment and go to here and close the string and maybe that's the bottom of our bit so let's go to here and you know expand it a little bit more and there you go that's where the things ends and we are going to compute this and see that in 3d and see how it looks so let's select the whole thing and go to wireframe tools create DDM we are going to choose bit and we are going to call this bit uh, number 2 and click on OK and that's our wait 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 so uh, let's maybe uh, delete that one I've done something wrong let's select it and go to wireframe tool and create DDM and let's go to option and maybe use trim edges I'm gonna make the maximum angle 5 and the length maybe 100 and do that again and we got our pit so now don't worry about this first part because we are going to solve that but as you can see we have a pit in here of course without ramps but we are going to see how to create ramps in the upcoming videos and we are going to solve this issue in here and show you how to do it and as you can see it's really simple uh, how to create a pit design inside Micromind. It's a very solid software, and I hope you enjoy the uh, rest of the training. See you in the next video.